Good morning folks, welcome along to the vlog. Uh, not done one for a while actually, but uh, you might remember in the last video on the channel we made a, a table saw track, uh, not table saw, a chop saw track in order to cut some timber down for the build uh, of the restaurant in the brew shed and a lot of you pointed out that yes, I did indeed put the blade on upside down or back to front, however you want to look at it. So I've decided as punishment I'm going to do all of this video uh, back to front. So I'll be facing away from the camera for the duration of the day and uh, well this is what you're going to get. Of course not. You all want to see my furry face I'm sure. So yesterday we spent a lot of time in Sheffield uh, and the past couple of days leading up to this on an auction website and uh, we picked up quite a lot of furniture to kit out the restaurant in the brew shed so we're going to go into work this morning and we're going to show you that we've got to clean it all up get it all prepared to go into the restaurant find somewhere for it to go maybe modify it somewhat we shall see uh, and this should all be ready then for the start of our new chef Tom uh, next week he's coming on Monday and then of course the kitchen build starts proper so uh, well Let's just get stuck into it, there's no time like the present. So we're in, and just look at that lot. So I'll run across what we've picked up and explain why we've picked it up. So we may as well start with this big monster. This sink is what Tom, the chef, requested. The sink that I installed way back in the summer, maybe the start of the year, last year in fact, um, is not big enough to get roasting tins in so we needed to upgrade, this was on the auction I got it for about £200 so it wasn't too much of a stretch uh, I think it's a pretty good deal if you look at the size of how deep they are compared to my foot they are about 18 inches deep and about 24 inches wide pretty big sinks with a drainer on the end. The whole unit's two meters, and I'm jumping from Imperial to metric here, but the whole unit is two meters by 700 mil, like 70 centimeters. <clears throat> and then we've got all of these pedestals. So I didn't buy the pedestals on their own. They had lots of tables for sale, and some of the tables had one pedestal underneath, and some of them had two. So I very conveniently, when I was bidding, made sure that I bid on the ones that are two pedestals because the tables will operate on one but we've got more bang for our buck and uh, they went pretty much for the same price so it's a free pedestal but including two pedestals and a solid tabletop and the tabletops are indeed solid wood as you can see from this uh, we paid around a hundred pound a table and then you'll probably have seen all of these. These are the back-to-back -back booth seating or benches, whatever you want to call them. So they've got faux leatherette backing and faux snakeskin effect seats. I think they'll fit in with the decor that we've got already in the brew shed. Hopefully they will. A um, couple more chairs here. I bought these because they were just, they were a tenner each. So I thought, yeah, get them. I'm sure we'll be able to use them in a pub. Uh, my least favourite purchase in the light of day is this dumb waiter. And yes, yeah, Sam is worried about it losing his job because it might replace him. Only joking, Sam. But uh, yeah, in the cold light of day, it looks a little bit tatty. But I'm sure I could just tidy this up with some new edge banding, perhaps. But we may, may use it, we may not. I didn't spend a lot of money on that. At least it's got a stainless steel top. <clears throat> right, moving further down, we've picked up all of these table. These are the table tops, which go obviously with the tables. And we also got some pictures for very little money. So yeah, YouTube will flag me up for the booby there. There's a couple more boobies for you folks. And uh, Enzo Ferrari. 
You'd have thought they would have snatched that up, wouldn't you? I got that whole framed picture for 12 quid. What a bargain. So if we come down here, you'll see we've got a few more pedestals there. And then we got all of these restaurant chairs. Most of them have this seating pad on for comfort. They're pretty robust. They're made by Country Seats Limited. And we got 22 of them for just shy of 300 pounds. You see the rest of them are all stacked over here and over here. So not all of this stuff is gonna fit into the restaurant area. We've got nine of these seats. We've got 11 tables, I believe, and uh, 22 chairs. The chairs will be replacing the dodgy chairs that we've had over the past year or two. We bought them, based, you can see this some there, look. And the kind of five pound a chair from eBay, and they've all started to fall apart. So we thought we'd better upgrade. Oh, and one more thing, yes. I got, uh, you'll see with the hoses in there, um, I got a vac. I don't know where the vac is. I don't know where Stuart's put it. Can you see the vac, Jem? No. No, I can't see it. So we got a wet and dry vac. Took a bit of a punt on it. It cost me 60 quid. We've not tested it out yet. Well, I don't even know where it is. Oh, she's found it. Turn the light on for us, honey. So, uh, yeah, these are the vacs that you can actually vacuum water up with. So we better plug her in and make sure she works. Before I bought it, I did have a Google search on how much they cost. And these particular models, the pneumatics, were about 380 quid, I think. So it's a proper uh, industrial restaurant style or kitchen wet and dry vacuum. Uh, so yeah, there we go. As you can see, the brewery is now basically um, unusable until we get all this stuff out and into the pub proper. So we need to start on putting everything together, cleaning it all up and basically making sure that it fits. Oh my goodness, what a job. Well, you'll notice quite a lot of stuff has gone because, well, we've had a full day at it and we've pulled out loads of stuff, including the old Joanna. So we need to get shot of that at some point. There's a few more chairs to go in, but I'm gonna go into the pub before we open, which is any minute now, and just show you exactly what we've done. Oh, you'll also notice the other day, we pulled all the bamboo out of the garden I've put some lights up, some different lights. Obviously none of that was done on the vlog because I was so busy putting stuff like this, all that trunking had to go up all the way around there. So let's have a look in here. We had one spare booth. So I decided to pop that in there. And here is the finished article with, well, most of the booth seating in place. So, we kind of had to cut some of the tables down to make do because we couldn't fit them all in in the design that I originally wanted. So that side is pretty much how I wanted it all to be, but all the way across the back as well. Unfortunately, they wouldn't fit. The chairs and the tables were a little bit too big. So obviously we can't cut the chairs down, but to combat the size issues, I was able to trim a few of these solid wood tables down to get us a little bit more space. Built in a shelf over there for the uh, for the lamp. It's still steaming up a little bit in here, I think. So in total, I think we get 28 to 30 covers. So that's people seated in the dining area. And then of course, we've still got all this space over here for drinkers to hang out. And then, obviously, as you've just seen, the downstairs section. And then I'm sure you'll remember the last video I made. I think it was the toilets. There's the finished article in the ladies with the toilet roll holders. 
it's been well received by the way, very well received. Everyone loves it. And of course, here we have the gents. Oh, it looks loads better, it really does. The pub is going from, you know, it's, it's going moving forward in leaps and bounds, should I say. So what we have to do now, realistically, is figure out what we're gonna do with this space. So, because Stu and I have just put that booth in there, we thought it'd be nice to just expand that across and build some in here as well, all the way around, get rid of all these chairs, because there's lots of mismatched chairs in here, and uh, make it a bit more of a welcoming space. So that's probably a plan for maybe after we've done the kitchen project. But if I can kind of get a match on these leatherettes, so we want to uh, match that blue and match that snake skin. If it's going to focus, it probably won't because the light in here is a bit poor. Anyway, let's scuttle across back to the brewery and I'll put the camera back in the camera bag and then I've got to go up to Screwfix to get a replacement flush for one of the ladies' toilets. These don't last two minutes, they are chintzy as they come. So, this morning we happened to have a package delivered. And uh, excuse the mess, obviously we're in a transitional period as you know. But um, you might remember actually, uh, a few videos back, I had to do a little bit of refit on the light fitting in the kitchen. And it was one of these MK uh, fittings for gang that was a little bit faulty due to these little tabs here. Well, Norfolk Hillbilly to the rescue, Clive sent me a message the other day and said I've got one of them in Shed 3 or something like that. And bless him, he sent me it for absolutely nothing. And also, it arrived with an old boy Mary Jane in proper pills, brewed and bottled in Estonia. So we'll, yeah, have a tasty poo of that. And a mystery beast, W-H-E-A-T, a wheat beer of some type. So yes, Clive sent me one of his own brews and one of his, uh, probably from the place he works. And uh, the MK sockets, all, didn't even have to pay for postage. He's such a nice guy. So. In return, I'm going to box up some vacant gesture and some of the other bottles that I think we've got in the cold room over there and send them up to him. FOC ASAP, as they say. Right, I'm going to kind of chuck my coat on. I'm freezing. It is at the moment, I'm just looking at the clock behind you, uh, 25 minutes to 6. It's dark. The pub has customers in it and there's not a lot we can do. So I suppose I'm gonna go home and edit this vlog, which is overdue, and indeed uh, get ready to do it all over again. So I'll play you out. Check this out, I've been practicing this. Are you ready? Hey, what do you reckon to that? We'll see you tomorrow.